Congratulations to Z. Well deserved, I'm sure. Um, all right, we can find out now. Okay. Um, this, I'm, I'm really going to try. And I think I said virtually the same thing last year. The, the two groups of seniors, last year's group and this year's group, are special in a lot of ways. Um, and I, I think I said the same thing. I practiced this a lot this year. I just wanted to get it all out because I don't want to stand up here and blubber. Um, because uh, I don't want to take away from, from what a great group this is. But this group, I, I'm going to say a lot of the same things over and over. It's going to seem, especially when I talk about them individually. And uh, the group that I forgot to thank two different groups. This, uh, the parents. What a wonderful group of parents we have. Um, I'm so thankful for the support that you give your, your sons, uh, the support that you show us as a staff. I don't expect that you always agree with everything that we do. If I was in this to be popular, if I wanted to be popular, I'd probably want to do what I do. I get it. I understand that, that just comes with, with, with the territory. But I think you understand that we're always trying to do what's best for our program and uh, also have your son's best interest. So that's the first thing I want to thank you as parents for everything that you do. And I also need to thank my parents. My parents are here, Larry and Laurel are back there, my brother Josh. They're at, I don't know, did you miss a game this year? No? No? Okay. But my parents were uh, right, everyone, and I, I had um, good intentions. And I, I had all these pictures ready to roll, and I was going to show them on the LCD, and honestly, my, I can't get my, my own laptop to connect to this, and they're stored on my hard drive. So I had all these pictures that I was going to show you. Um, First of all, my parents' house when they stayed at uh, uh, and some of you have seen those. They, they had a, a short stay on our website where you had some dress up. And, uh, my parents' grandchildren have all these dress ups. And, and maybe, maybe it's better that they're not showing Tyler. Uh, Tyler Bumble Crew. Uh, so I thank you. My parents are, are wonderful fans of the program and um, will continue to be, I'm sure, as, as we'll, we obviously won't be here next year, but I, get, I guarantee you they'll make it to a few more. Um, so that leads me into what I want to talk about this year's season. Uh, starting in the summer, I thought we had a, we had a wonderful summer. Uh, we, had, we certainly demonstrated an awful lot of uh, dedication to pro the program. And I don't think I'm real popular with other coaches in our school when I say this. But in order to be successful in basketball, you have to have a group of basketball first kids. And it doesn't mean you got to eat basketballs and sleep with basketballs every night, but you have to love basketball enough to make it your primary focus in the offseason. And we did. We, have, and we want multi-sport athletes. We want people to be involved in lots of things. But basketball at this level is such that if you're not committed, you don't develop skills year-round, you're not going to be competitive. And so we had this group of seven seniors that really led the charge on that. We had a wonderful s summer, played in some, some very good tournaments against some good competition, um, and really prepared us well for the season. We had a great off season. Started, we had a wonderful open gym season. Uh, and I know that, that may sound silly to you, but it was, uh, open gym is just that. There can't be any instruction in open gym. And if you walk in, there can't be any instruction from adults. If you walked into open gym, I guarantee you that the way our open gyms were run looked more organized than a lot of practices from other schools. And that goes to the, the quality of leadership that we had in our senior group, understanding what was important and wanting things to be positive for themselves and for their team during the year. Uh, it was just, it was excellent uh, leadership demonstrated. We get into the season and the trip to Osceola, and that's something that I love. I love that trip. It's, uh, we get an awful lot of basketball done, um, but I think more importantly, we get to goof around a little bit together and get to know each other well on a different level. Um, again, I feel bad. I wanted to show you. I have great. It's on. It's on my YouTube page of uh, snow diving. It's snow during the day. We have uh, we have some footage of Sandy and Amos in nothing but their. What do you guys call those? What you wear? Compression shorts. Out rolling around in the snow. That was fun. Um, and we just, we just really got uh, an opportunity to get to know each other well. Um, some great inside jokes that lasted throughout the year. Coach Prue. <laughs> 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 
That was a wonderful trip. We try to do that every other year. Our uh, Cardinal Hoops helps fund that, and um, actually doesn't help fund it. They do fund it. It's expensive, but I think it's time well spent. It gets us all on the right page, on the same page rather, and gets us uh, ready to start the year. So, the year. I looked at this two seasons, basically. You know, Mark touched on it. Talked about progress. You take the first 11 games. Let me share some numbers with you. The first 11 games, we were 5 and 6 through 11 games. Our offensive average was 58, which is great. That's good. And our defensive average was 62, which is really high. And um, frustrating, I think, for everybody. Um, the 88 is a number that sticks, right? That's a hard one to swallow. And I, I, as we, we got through that last game at Eau Claire North and got our teeth kicked in again, um, and we were just unable to stop people. And there's a staff who talked about some things that we wanted to maybe change, and I, you know, I spent a few days in isolation. Um, again, thanks to my wife, letting me do things like this, and really thinking about what do we do well, and what do we not do well. And physically, we're, we're very imposing, physically. That's one thing we're not <laughs> at all. Uh, so we need to hide those deficiencies that we have. But I thought we had, we had a lot of ball hawks, guys that like to defend the ball, and um, we get after it defensively, so we, we, uh, I came up with some some weird stuff that we were going to try to do, and I tell you what, this this is um, a great example of trust uh, that your sons have learned from you, and uh, to, to trust me in that, and that, I didn't know what I was doing. Trust me, I, I'm like, I think this is going to work. I can remember talking to Jason about this, and man, this is really bad. This isn't so the second half of the season, these guys buy into what we're trying to do defensively, and we are a different team. You know, those last 13 games, we go 11 and 2, with an offensive average of 59 and a defensive average of 50. And you think about a couple of those games. Um, you know, the, the Menominee game Mark referenced, where they scored 44. It was 51 to 19 after three. You know, I mean, that was. I've had people come to me that were at that game, and just the, the defensive effort that these guys gave. We finally had an identity. And we lacked that first half of the season. We had a defensive identity. And there was a, a group of young men who were fully committed to doing what, what needed to be done to, be, to, to give ourselves a chance. And I thank them for that. that was, uh, that's something that will stick with me forever. Memories of mine before I get to individuals. I was going to have each guy share a memory. But I don't know if I'll do that. So if, you have, if you have one that you really want to share that I've missed, let me know. So I think the, these guys left their mark on our program in a lot of different ways. I don't think that I've ever had a group of guys that put as much thought into the introductions. And <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that matters. You know, we focus on the important things in our program. <laughs> and I always get a kick out of it. I just kind of sit down off to the side and watch. There were a couple that were always the, 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 the old standbys. And then it seemed like we got tired of that, and they were looking for something else. When we were sitting in the coach's office after practice, what are you doing? He said, I've never seen a group that likes to shower. <laughs> right? So true. I kind of said, you know? and, uh, we, and it just echoes. And then we're in the coach's office talking, and there's just this thunderous chanting going on. <laughs> I, remember, I would walk in, I'm like, what the heck are you guys doing? And they're all standing in a circle, and they're yelling, and they're chanting, and that's, that, that was the seed, I guess. And, and <laughs> you, you saw I mentioned, like, what was the first game? Was that at North? Was that the first time you did it? So, that's really cool. That's something that'll stay with me. That's, that's a wonderful memory. Um, and I was, I was doing a, a newspaper thing with somebody uh, recently, they're asking about Zandy. And I just said, the way, the, the focus that he had during that time, I mean, even then he's focused his name. He was in the middle of that circle. Um, that was really cool. And so that, that's something that stays with me. I have both Rice Lake games here for different reasons. Uh, the game at Rice Lake, that was kind of the first time. We were, we're walking up the stairs, and that was the first time we were going to try this stuff defensively. And I'm just like, this, we're gonna, they're going to score 150 points. 
<laughs> well, it's not you. Um, and so we're worried about how you walk in, the place is just packed, and we played great. We really did. We got in terrible foul trouble, um, but we, we battled, we hung in there, uh, and we felt okay. We walked out of that, oh, going, you know what? We're on the right track. Things are getting better. I feel good about this. That was, that was a memorable night for me. So then you fast forward a couple games, and we got Memorial here. You know, and, and Mark referenced the, the game at Memorial. If you saw us play there, and then you saw us at home against Memorial, completely different teams. And the fear in the eye, this is one thing that I'll remember of, of those kids that were bringing the ball down the floor for Memorial. It got to be the third quarter, and they wanted no part of Zandy, Michelle, CD, uh, those guys are playing on top. Um, it was smothering. Next game, we play at Manama. Kind of the same thing. And Z jokes, I heard him talking in the locker room after the game. They were talking about one kid from Miami throws the ball into the other, and he's like, you bring it up. And he passes it back, he's like, no, you bring it up. <laughs> and that, that was kind of the way that game was going. <laughs> that was a great night, you know, and then, um, you know, for personal reasons, that game, anytime we go to Menominee, I always get the questions about Menominee and playing at Menominee. And, you know, and then, of course, yeah. throw in uh, the fact that Tyson goes into that game, he's tied this record that I didn't have any idea that I had. And I'll say this to everybody, I'm glad they don't keep track of attempts, because I know he, nobody's ever going to break that one. I, I'll always have the record for attempts. I'm not proud of that. Um, and you throw that piece into it as well. And just, that, that was a unique experience, because I think you missed the first 17 shots of the game. You know? And it was like, you didn't want to talk to him. Like nobody, everybody knew all week because everybody's talking about it. The papers talking about it. I didn't say anything. Nobody said anything, and you could just tell. It. And so finally, there was a timeout, and he comes off the floor. And I'm like, Are you just trying to be nice to me or what? Let's go. Come on. See, it just missed so many. And then the, to, to break it on that four point play was really cool. Um, back to back four point plays. Yeah, Dicker called it. The next game, next game, the Rice Lake game at home. Um, the one thing that I to take from that was a great atmosphere. It was a fun game. I'll never forget Pell getting Claymaker. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'll reference this later as well. But I'm, I'm, just the way he handled that situation, getting dunked on. And, yeah, getting um, dunked on. <laughs> I wouldn't get dunked on. You're saying you didn't get dunked on? You got dunked on. <laughs> <laughs> I have the video if you want to see it. But, you know, the way he handled it. It tells a lot about Tell. You know, the, the way the other kid handled it, he does his little pose thing, and Tell just smiles at you. <laughs> he handles it a lot better than I do. I don't think I handle it as well. Never seen the central game. The longest seven minutes of anybody's life. Yep. Right? That was, yep. Um, I sat down. That was, that was painful. And uh, that game, there was no joy for me after that game. It was, I was just shaking after the game. It was nothing but relief. Because I'm sitting there the whole time, for about the first three or four minutes, I'm like, what do we do? Should I come out of this? Should I come out of this? Should I come out? You know, because I'm thinking, we're down five. Why, we, why would we not come out like that? And these guys bought in. You know, Tyson didn't move the whole time. That was the joke. He just stared at me. The whole time. <laughs> we came out of that. We had two stubborn coaches and a bunch of 17, 18 year old kids wanted to play. Um, Two other games, the Hudson game here. Winning a playoff game was a big deal for this group. It sounds simple, but this, like Tyson said, and, I'm like, and Zane, you guys have played football and uh, basketball, and never won a playoff game. You know, to win a playoff game was a big deal. Um, that, that, was, that was a neat uh, experience. And then the last thing that I'll remember about the season itself is after the Central game, right? Just the pain. That was really, really hard. It was so it was so real and raw. I mean, my, I saw I, I, you guys owe me money. I gotta get that thing dry clean. I just sort of snot all over my face. I mean, had all it was like a it was just a horrible scene in that locker room. And just these guys love playing together so much. And I mean, all I mean, everybody. I mean, all the parents that were there, my kids and my wife and everybody. It was just very very emotional, very painful. Something that I'll always. Always remember, and it says a lot about how much this group cared about each other. Okay, I'm going to move on to some individuals. I've got three awesome managers different, in different capacities here. Um, yeah, you get that. 